In this video, I am going to cover all the possible questions about the topic means of transport in the B1 test. These are all the possible questions that can be asked by the examiner in your B1 test. This is the second phase of the B1 test conversation part where you have a short conversation with the examiner about two subject areas that are chosen by the examiner. The examiner has a total of six topics that he can choose from and one of these topics is means of transport. So the first question for this topic is how do you usually travel to work? Now for every question I'll give you five seconds to come up with your own answer and practice along with me. I would recommend you don't just copy the ones that I give you in this video but rather try to come up with your own answers according to your own personal preference. For this one the answer would be I usually take the bus or train to work. What is your favorite means of transport? My favorite means of transport is probably the bicycle because it is environmentally friendly and good exercise. Have you ever taken a long distance trip by bus or train? Yes, I have taken a long distance trip by train to visit a friend in another city. What is the most common means of transport in your country? The most common means of transport in my country is probably the car. What is the fastest means of transport you have ever taken? The fastest means of transport I have ever taken is probably the airplane. Have you ever traveled by boat or ferry? Yes, I have traveled by ferry to visit an island. How do you think technology will change means of transport in the future? I think technology will bring about new forms of transport such as electric cars and autonomous vehicles. What is the most comfortable means of transport you have ever taken? The most comfortable means of transport I have ever taken is probably a luxury coach. Do you prefer public or private means of transport? It depends on the situation, but generally I prefer public transport for environmental and cost reasons. Have you ever had a bad experience while traveling by means of transport? Yes, I once missed a flight due to traffic and had to rebook another one. What is the most popular means of transport for tourists in your country? The most popular means of transport for tourists in my country is probably the tour bus. Have you ever hitchhiked or picked up a hitchhiker? No, I have never hitchhiked or picked up a hitchhiker. Do you think means of transport should be more affordable for people? Yes, I think means of transport should be more affordable for people, especially those who rely on it for commuting or traveling. What is the most scenic means of transport you have ever taken? The most scenic means of transport I have ever taken is probably a hot air balloon ride. How do you think means of transport impact the environment? Means of transport can have a significant impact on the environment, especially those that rely on fossil fuels. However, new developments in electric and hybrid vehicles can help mitigate this impact. Have you ever traveled by a private jet? No, I have never traveled by a private jet. What is the most dangerous means of transport you have ever taken? The most dangerous means of transport I have ever taken is probably a bumpy ride on a motorbike through a mountainous terrain. How do you think means of transport impact society? Means of transport are essential for society to function as they facilitate the movement of people and goods, create job opportunities and support economic growth. Do you think means of transport should be more accessible to people with disabilities? Yes, I think means of transport should be more accessible to people with disabilities to promote inclusivity and equal opportunities. What is the most unique means of transport you have ever taken? The 
the most unique means of transport I have ever taken is probably a cable car ride up a mountain. What mode of transportation do you use to go to your job? I use a combination of walking and public transportation. I walk to the bus stop and then take the bus to my workplace. How long does it take for you to reach your workplace using your preferred mode of transportation? It takes me around 30 minutes to reach my workplace using the bus and walking. Do you prefer using public transportation or your own vehicle to reach your job? Why? I prefer using public transportation because it is more convenient and cost effective. It also helps reduce traffic congestion and carbon emissions. Have you ever faced any challenges while commuting to your workplace? If yes, how did you overcome them? Yes, there have been instances where the buses have been delayed or cancelled. In such cases, I either take an alternate mode of transportation or work from home. Do you think the government should invest more in improving public transportation? Why or why not? Yes, I think the government should invest more in improving public transportation. It will encourage more people to use it and reduce the number of vehicles on the road, which in turn will help reduce air pollution and traffic congestion. Have you and your spouse ever taken a road trip together? If so, where did you go and what was the experience like? Yes, we took a road trip to the mountains last summer. It was an adventure filled with scenic views and quality time together. What is your favorite mode of transportation for family vacations and why? We prefer traveling by train for family vacations. It's comfortable, allows us to enjoy the journey and reduces stress associated with air travel. How do you and your spouse handle the responsibilities of maintaining your family car? We share the responsibilities of car maintenance. I handle the oil changes and my spouse takes care of scheduling routine inspections. Have you ever had any memorable experiences while using public transportation as a family? Yes, we once took a train trip as a family to a coastal town. It was fun and hassle-free way to travel with our kids. What is the most exciting means of transport you and your spouse have used for a romantic getaway? We took a cruise for our honeymoon. It was a fantastic way to explore multiple destinations while enjoying the luxury of a cruise ship. How do you and your spouse make travel decisions, such as choosing between flying or driving to a destination? We usually consider factors like distance, time available, and the destination's attractions before making a travel decision. It's a joint decision-making process. Have you and your spouse ever experienced any travel mishaps, like missing a train or getting lost during a trip? Yes, we once missed a connecting flight due to delay. It taught us the importance of having contingency plans when traveling. Have you and your spouse ever considered using electric or hybrid cars for your daily commute to reduce your carbon footprint? Yes, we are seriously considering switching to an electric car for our daily commute to contribute to a more sustainable environment. Now, as I mentioned before, the examiner will only choose two topics out of a total of six. And the six topics include music, special occasion, recent personal experience, entertainment, festivals, and means of transport. You can check out the other topics on my channel as well. Now, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Also, make sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.